Let's take a look at 234Tree's delete operation. Um, so first off, just some basics. Um, when we remove something, we're going to kind of take a page out of the uh, binary search tree playbook. Um, and if it's a non-leaf value that we're removing, we're going to replace it with the in-order predecessor. Um, so we'll use the same basic techniques we used in trees to find that. So we can go left and then right as far as possible to find the uh, in-order predecessor. Um, we could also choose the in-order successor. It's kind of arbitrary. Um, then we'll... Uh, after we do that swap, we'll actually be able to remove a leaf value. Um, and this could cause the, that leaf node to, to do what's called an underflow, where it'll have too few keys to be a valid node. And there are two different ways we can resolve this, and we'll, we'll try and take a look at examples of each of these. Um, if a sibling has three or four values, then it could be reduced by one and still be a valid node. So we'll essentially kind of steal a value. Uh, technically, this is called a transfer. Um, so we'll kind of transfer a value through the parent node to the node that underflowed, and we'll reduce the size of one of the siblings. On the other hand, it's possible that all the siblings are too small to share a value. They might all have a, a single key, in which case we'll do something called fusion, where we do kind of a, a merger with the sibling and a, a parent key. So like before, we'll uh, use the little online simulator in order to uh, simulate our two, three, four trees. Okay, so here I've got uh, a valid 234 tree. Again, I've, I've specified that this is a 234 tree by specifying the max degree. Um, I'm going to do a couple of uh, simple uh, removals first just to demonstrate the, the simplest case. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, 300 here. So we'll do 300 and delete. Uh, so this will traverse down the tree. It'll find that this is a leaf node and uh, remove it. And at that point, this node will still be valid. It will still have uh, two values in it. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to go ahead and remove this root value of the 40. Uh, in this particular implementation, we'll use the in-order predecessor. So it'll move left and then right as far as possible to take the 39. And everything in this subtree comes before the 39. So promoting the 39 to the root value uh, does make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the 40. And again, it'll traverse down the tree, swap it up, and then it removed the value from this node. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do a, a couple more removes. So I'm going to focus on the right side of the tree here, and I'm going to go ahead and remove this 400. So uh, just to demonstrate things, I'm going to kind of focus on the bottom of the tree and how the bottom of the tree is impacted by removals. Okay, uh, next I'm going to go ahead and remove the 250. So removing the 250 is going to cause an underflow condition. So we've got kind of two options. We could steal from the uh, the left sibling here. It's got two values. Taking a value from it wouldn't cause underflow. Or we can steal from the right-hand uh, node, and it's kind of arbitrary which one we pick. So if, if we're going to steal from the left, basically we can kind of think of this as somewhat similar to our rotations in a way. Basically we're going to move the 55 up to the parent and the 200 down to the, the child, so it'll still have a single value in it. Or if we were to steal from the right sibling, once the 250 is removed, we would take the 500 down and uh, move the 750 up. Um, okay, so again, we'll, we'll steal from uh, um, either this one or this one, not exactly sure which, and we'll still end up with this node in the center, and it will uh, either have the 500 or the 200 from the parent. Okay, so let's remove our 250. Traverse down the tree until we find the 250, and we uh, stole from the left-hand sibling. Okay. Um, okay. Now, if I continued this, um, now if I were to delete the 200, uh, the left sibling only has one value. We can't steal from it. We'd be forced to change to the right sibling. So this has to be somewhat dynamic. It has to be able to look at both siblings, the left and the right, and see if either one of them uh, has a node to spare. And if it does, uh, do a transfer. So in this case, if I delete the 200, it'll go away. We'll do a transfer where the 500 will come down and the left-hand value in the, uh, uh, the right sibling, will, the 750, will move up to the parent. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, delete our 200. First of all, we find it. And we remove it, and then we do our transfer to our sibling, and notice that we've maintained the same total number of, uh, of nodes here. Okay, um, so if I were to delete the 42 here, 
Notice that sibling only has a single value. So uh, doing this transfer would cause this to underflow as well. And we, we could try and do something that would cause cascading transfers, but at a certain point that undermines uh, our efficiency and it's, it's too problematic. At a certain point, we have to merge nodes. So when a sibling uh, cannot be used for a transfer, instead we'll do a merger. So basically we'll merge together values and we'll promote a value to the parent. So when I remove the 42, um, the, uh, the 55 and the 500 will essentially be merged together. So let's take a look at that. So we'll remove the 42, we've got our underflow, and uh, the 55 and the 500 were merged, and the parent node got one smaller. Okay, as, as you might guess, if we continue doing operations, just like the uh, inserts could cause cascades to go up the tree, uh, removes can also cause cascades to go up the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and remove a few more nodes here until we see the kind of this cascading merger. Um, so I'll go ahead and remove the 500 as well. Okay, now if I uh, remove a node here, it's going to cause underflow and uh, we won't be able to do the transfer, so we'll have this cascade up the tree of merger. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the 55, and it'll cause a merger of those two nodes, which then uh, caused a transfer through the parent. I'm sorry, I apologize, that wasn't a, a cascading merger up the tree. Uh, we were able to resolve that with a transfer. Um, okay, let's go ahead and continue doing removes. I'm going to go ahead and remove five. And that caused the cascading merge.